This conference will now be recorded. Right, let's start today's session. So in the last session, we were discussed about list and tuple data structure and its functionalities. And in this session, we'll continue with set and dictionary. First, we'll open your project. <clears throat> So it starts with uh, a set to data, <coughs> set to data structure in its operations. What is set and how to work with sets? We know the basics of sets only. But the remaining functionalities will look into that. So first of all, set is unordered collection of items, unordered collection of elements, set. List is ordered, string is ordered, okay? And uh, what is that? Uh, list is ordered, string is ordered, tuple is ordered collection, all are ordered collection of elements only. But uh, set is unordered collection of elements. Set is unordered collection of elements. How to create set in Python? We can create set in Python by using Flower brackets. Okay, so curly brackets through we can create a set. And set contains unique elements. There is no duplicate. So while working with set, if you try to give duplicate values, so that won't accept. So it won't give any error. Simply that will ignore that duplicate elements. Set is unordered collection of unique elements. How to create set means we can create set by using curly brackets. And uh, to create an empty set, we use set function. <clears throat> we cannot create set with empty elements like empty set. We cannot create using empty curly brackets. So set, set function through we can create a, a empty set only. And set is mutable object. Mutable means we can able to modify that. Anytime you can able to modify, set is mutable object. Let's look into one's diagram so that you will get clarity here. Now you can see here, this is the set. Okay, this is the set. Set, how to create set using flower brackets. It is ordered collection of elements. No, it is not. Is this meetable? Yes, it is meetable. We can able to modify at any time set values. Immutable? No, it is not immutable. Duplicate values allow? No duplicates. Set don't contain duplicate values. It is completely unique elements. So this is the set related things. Okay. Well, let me create one simple set here <coughs> and creating. <clears throat> set is there s equals to this is print s <clears throat> print s and if you want to know what is this type of s simply type of s i can say type of s we can see here type of s 
<coughs> now you can see dictionary type it is class dict dictionary it is not a set why because as i said that if you want to create a set then we need to use empty set we need to use set function only not curly brackets okay let me use set function set function i'm taking it so once i run this now you can see set function is through we can create empty set only and set with elements i'm preparing for example here it is 10 okay 20 30 40 like this so it is unordered collection of elements so order is not important order will not be display also what order i follow here <coughs> 10 to 40 but output is 40 10 20 30 like this only. 40 10 20 30 got my point so set will not allow any duplicate values for example if i take 10 10 both 10s are there here first 10 last 10 it won't give any error simply it remove or uh, duplicate value only it will accept only one value unique value like this and set contains different data type and values also float value is there okay character value you can include integer value you can include like this so this is completely unordered <clears throat> is not in order due to this unordered nature of set set don't have any index got my point we don't have any indexes on set so, suppose list is having indexes like 0 1 2 3 4 because list is not uh, not unordered it is ordered so what are whatever the list is created previously so that location of the items are same it won't be changed any location that's what indexes are possible string also indexes are possible because once the character is located at zero index that is going to be fix, fixed at the zero index only we can access the characters and elements at any point of time easily okay so set is unordered collection of elements and they don't have any indexes why because there is no guarantee in zero index 10 is always available sometimes 10 will be go there third position fifth position also like this third 10 is available here second uh, first position index one position so that's what every time items are going to be change its positions so it don't have any indexes okay set is don't have any indexes now set is meetable i said no how to change the set so there are two functions are there here add function and update function is there how list is having append function extend function same here set is having add function update function <clears throat> Add is used to add only one item to the set. Whereas update is used to add multiple items to the set. If you want to add one value to the set, then we can use add function. At a time, only one value we can add to the set. Or if you want to add multiple values to the set, then we can use update function. Get my point? Yes. Let's see this. Add and update, we'll check it once. Suppose here, it is. this is my set. And I want to add one item to this set. To add one item to this set, what we need to do? S dot add function MP. 45 value MP. Print yes. But you may get doubt, sir, where this 45 will be added? Last or first? Anywhere it can be. The reason is it is unordered. So anywhere it can be displayed. 45. 45 is added. Where here it is added. If there is no guarantee 45 will be add in the second position only anywhere it can be added i said but only add method is used to add only one item there is update method is there update method is used to add multiple items to the set so to add multiple items then we can use update method let's start update of multiple items means compulsory iteration is required square bracket so now i'm taking here different values like these are the multiple values i'm adding to the set three more values i'm adding to the set 23 durga 67.7 but all three at one location will not be added it will be different so 23 is added here durga is added here 
67.7 is added here like this so it is completely unordered to add one item to the set at once add method to add multiple item to the set at once update method okay add method update method so this is the how to change the set how to modify the set uh, adding the set but at the same time not only adding mutable means not only only adding if you want you can also delete the values from the set so how to remove elements from set if you want to remove elements from set we use discard method as well as the remove method but make sure that both methods are going to remove or delete the values based on item only based on value only but what is the difference between this discard and remove because there is no indexes okay we have seen on list in the context of list we have seen remove method is there pop method is there remove method is used to remove item based on item pop method is used to remove based on index at the time of uh, list only but here discard and remove both are going to remove based on the provided value only because this uh, set is don't have any index don't have any index so difference between remove and discard method i'll show you but just observe here i'm trying to remove first i'll show you discard method discard method i want to discard 10 so 10 is there in my set so 10 is going to delete from the set discard 10 is discarded from the set after discarding i'm printing this at the, at the same time i'm trying to use remove method here remove method now you can see remove method yes remove method s dot remove of 10 10 is removed okay so both are working no sir remove method is working discard method is working remove method is working this mode discard method but what is the difference here yes if the value is present in the set both discard as well as remove method will delete item but here you can see this if the value is not available on set 100 is there no do you have 100 value in the set no there is no 100 value in the set 100 value is not there so 100 value is not there so that's what it is saying what actually key error key error it is there key error 100 so s dot remove of 100 that is key error 100 value is removed trace bar most recent call is available here this is in case if i try to use discard method you can see you don't get any error if the value or element is not there in the set also then it's simply what it will return same set only nothing will return means none will return nothing is happening actually it will return none only s1 equals to now you can see print s1 s1 so i'm going to store a deleted value into separate variable it is going to return none so this is the difference but s dot remove is not like that s dot remove will give error sir okay so difference between discard method and remove method is what both methods discard method as well as remove method will work fine when the value is present on the set it will delete but whereas discard method if the value is not present discard method will not do any changes and remove method will give key error why because in the set every value is considered as a key only every value is considered as a key key only so remove of 10 10 is going to remove if there is no 10 key like if it is 100 is there now you can see remove of 100 means now key error is there 100 100 is there so this key is not present on the set you are attempting to remove that so this is the difference between discard and remove method so what about clear clear method is there if you want to clear all the elements from the set means making set as empty that is clear method clear method is used to make set as empty only how to clear the set only how to clear the set to clear the set we use this one simple s dot clear print yes but strictly remember 
as i said that previously like uh, to create an empty set we use set function only but we cannot use empty curly brackets you know so to create an empty set we should not use empty curly bracket set function how to use so here i'm saying after clearing elements what is the result of s set function or empty curly brackets obviously set function only after clearing the all the elements from the set empty set how to represent using the set function empty set function okay empty set function through we can represent s dot clear print s yes. okay clear function will makes total set as empty after making this total set as empty it represent what actually set function it's not represent empty curly brackets because you know empty curly brackets leads to dictionary only this is clear function on set <clears throat> now there are some set operations are there mathematical set operations union the symbol is pipe symbol intersection the symbol is and is difference the symbol is minus symmetric difference the symbol is cap so first we'll look into union union will return unique values among multiple sets so if you have multiple sets then if you apply on multiple set union it return unique values from the sets okay generally we can apply uh, union operator so if you want to filter the unique values from both sets or multiple set you can use for example i'm taking one a set a i'm taking a is the set so here in this set one two three four five alice i'm taking b is another set i'm taking in this i'm taking four five six seven eight i'm taking print a union b i'm taking a union b a union b. now you can see a union b this is one two three four five six seven eight so unique values are not yes one two three four five is unique six seven eight is unique again four five is there but it is not going to display here because if i include four five again that will be duplicate so one two three four five six seven eight unique values union will return unique values and next if you if if you want to use this uh, symbol you can use or else you can apply this also both will work a dot union of b union a dot union of b once i run this now you can see a one two three four five six seven eight union of b one two three four five six seven eight a union b here a union b like this a dot union of p one got my point yes and intersection is there intersection means it written common values from both sets okay it written common values from both in both sets what are the common values then intersection will return intersection means like this and a and b and now we can see a dot intersection of b one a dot intersection of b now i can see one side on this a and b a dot intersection of b four five four five is available four five as well as four five print a dot intersection of b only print a and b only okay so anyone you can use next difference is there minus difference means suppose here a minus b i'm taking the values which will come from a which are not present in b values which will come from a which are present in b now we can see this is 1 2 3 values are coming a a minus b in this sense but 4 5 why is it not coming because which is present in b only the values which is only coming from which is present only from a which is not uh, which is already again present in b values it will be ignored because 4 5 is already available in b that will ignore only values will come from a only if i say b comma a now you can say b comma a and take so the values which will come from b okay and the same values which is already present in a that will remove that so 4 5 is already present in a that will remove only Eight six seven six seven eight like this. This is an order, no problem. So this values this this expression we can also use like this difference of B also. 
a dot difference of b once i run this now you can see this is also the same a dot difference of b there is symmetric difference is there symmetric difference symmetric difference means what just observe here symmetric difference a dot a dot symmetric difference of b only a dot symmetric difference of b once i run this symmetric difference means only except the common values only unique values will come a dot symmetric difference of 1 2 3 6 7 8 symmetric difference will return only common except the common values unique values from both sides but sir what is the difference between union a dot union of b union will not like that union will return common values also but unique values 4 5 will be returned a dot union b means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 all are unique values only but a dot symmetric difference means 1 2 3 6 7 8 only 4 5 will not be there 4 5 again this is duplicate value no both sets symmetric difference will return unique values except the common values and this symmetric difference is also we can use this is symbol through we can use a cap b i'm taking a cap b so print a cap b i'm taking now one two three six seven eight one two three six seven eight like this print a cap b like this okay these are the set operations in general we can apply on multiple sets also and membership test is common sir here membership test means whether the value is present on set or not we can decide that is membership so for example i have a set s equals to 10 20 30 40 any elements you can do. i want to check that 100 in s or not 100 is the value in s i'm saying 100 values present in s or not i want to check no it is false 100 values not present in s suppose 10 in s yes 10 is available 10 is the value which is present in s it is okay so that's values available or not we can check length is common function for all data structure how many number of elements are present in set we can find it so every data structure we are finding length only it's a common function for all data structure length is 5 and max min sum also we discussed at the time of tuple concept same here also it will work maximum value from the set minimum value from the set sum of the values of the sets suppose here maximum value here what it is obviously 50 maximum value of the set is 50 minimum value is what actually minimum value minimum value is what actually minimum values turn only you want to give some of the values some of the value i'm taking some of the values what actually 150 only. and while doing some you can take any value also for example 20 i'm taking and adding additionally some of these values plus 20 only s comma 20 means s is the sum value result 20 is added to that result 150 plus 20 is 770 so these are all set collection so if you want to maintain the group of values or group of elements which you don't want to accept any duplicate unique values unique collection if you want to maintain then we can use set okay set values and also same if you want to allow modification after maintaining the unique values then we can go for set so List is most commonly used data types in Python script because it will allow all options. Like mutable, we can edit, delete, update. We can arrange that into ordered collection. Okay, all operations possible, but no duplicate. Sorry, duplicate values are exist in the list. Tuple also contains duplicate values. There is no chance to maintain unique values in the context of uh, tuple and list only. But in the context of set, yes, we can avoid duplicate values. Only unique values will maintain. This is what set. Now coming to the dictionary here. What is dictionary? Dictionary is a collection of items. And each item can be a pair in dictionary. Pair means two things. One is key and value. 
Dictionary is a collection of items. In dictionary, each item can be a pair. Each item can be a pair, sir. So pair means uh, uh, key and value pairs are there. Key and value pairs are there. So how to create dictionary? Same as uh, curly brackets. If you want to create a dictionary, then we can use curly brackets clearly. And uh, dictionary keys are immut immutable. Okay, let me show the diagram again. Now you can see this. This is DAC dictionary. How to create dictionary? Curly brackets. So here it is ordered. Dictionary is ordered. No, it is not ordered. It is unordered. Meetable directly. No, we cannot say dictionary is meetable directly. So keys are meetable. Keys are immutable. That's what no. Values are meetable. Yes. Keys are immutable. Yes. Values are immutable. No. So keys only Im immutable, sir. The reason is keys cannot be modified. But values not meetable. So we can able to modify the values. Duplicate. No duplicate keys. Duplicate values. Yes. Duplicate values we can give. Duplicate keys are not possible, duplicate values are possible. So, this is what dictionary collection is. How to create dictionary? Same as this is curly brackets. Huh? Let's see the practical implementation of functions. So, how to access values from dictionary? If you want access values from dictionary, compulsory, you have to use keys, sir. Compulsory, we have to use keys. Let me prepare one dictionary first. D is my dictionary name. This is what actually empty dictionary here. Print type of D, sir. Type of D. Type of D. Now you can see dictionary type it is. DICT dictionary type. D equals to empty curly brackets. Print D. Print type of D only. And I'm trying to create dictionary with values. Do you think is this dictionary? No, sir, it leads set because only keys are exist, but a dictionary means key and value pair both. So here one key I'm taking, name is Sai. Second key I'm taking, name is Durga. Third key, name is Mohan. So that is two things are there here, key and value pair. Then it is exactly dictionary. But my question is, if you want to access values from dictionary, if you want to access this value, compulsory, we have to use key called one. So let's try to access this. Print D of one. Key I'm passing inside the square bracket. This is one option is there. If you want to access values from the dictionary, this is option number one. D of one. So I is coming. If I say D of two, now I can see print D of two. D of two is what? Durga is there. Suppose there is one more option is there. Print, print d dot get function is there. Get function T is there. So both are working fine, no sir. Yes. D of two is working. Durga is coming. D dot get of one working. One is a key. We are passing to the get function. Psi is coming. But what is the difference between this approach and this approach? See, in this approach, if there is no key, for example, twelve key is there. Are you, are you finding any key called 12? There is no key, so that is wrong key we supplied. When we supply wrong key, then that is called key error only. Obviously. This scenario, D of square bracket, like uh, 12. 12 is a wrong key. So when we use wrong key, then it will give a key error. But same thing if you do like this with the uh, get function. Print D dot get of 12 I'm taking. So simply it return what actually none. You don't get any error. So it will you will get none. That indicates that there is no keys exist in the dictionary only. So any pattern you can use to access values from dictionary. This is the style. Either you can pass the key in square bracket, D of square bracket, or you can pass the key using get function also. No problem at all. Okay. And how to change or add values? You can change or add values also to the dictionary. And before that, I want to tell you clarity here. So the thing is, 
values are key places here what type of values are there integer values are there in key places float values we can take yes float values we can take yes observe here float values 1.2 in key places string value we can take yes we can take string value here okay in key places list value you can take no sir it is not possible list is another data structure and that too list quality is what list quality is mutable nature mutable means modification will allow but it is the position of dictionary key but actually dictionary key can never be modified no so it's not possible key cannot be modified in dictionary key is always immutable only so you are you are giving mutable object you are giving in place of dictionary immutable case so actually dictionary keys are immutable keys cannot be changed but you are giving what list list is a mutable nature so how we can give mutable nature object as a key so this is what giving error unhashable type list only but whenever i try to give tuple this is allowed why because tuple is what immutable and this tuple as tuple is acting as key only yes but it's possible now you can see tuple is immutable that's what so simple logic i will tell yeah this is a key sir in dictionary keys are unique and it is immutable we cannot change if you apply if you uh, whatever the data structures will follow these rules and regulations that data structures we can give here in the position of keys list will not follow that rule why because list is not mutable it is immutable so list is uh, list can be modified also if you give the modified data structure which is not modified place like dictionary key that's not accepted and values also can be of any type like for example values dictionary values are there here values can be of any type suppose here employee id i'm taking id is a key 1 2 3 4 name name size the name like this okay so this is string this is integer this is string this is string like this so how to change or add values here suppose i want to change the name of the employee so how i can change the name of the employee d of again compulsory key is required equals to i'm taking uh, what we can say durga i'm taking in place of sai i am giving durga then immediately what will happen print d so durga is located at sai now sai name is changing because of i clearly mentioned my key only dictionary key i take d of name durga print d like this only got my point here it is how to change or add values and next here if the key is present value gets updates up while doing changes the value we are using key only if the key is present value gets update simple or not if the key is not present then what will happen for example here if the key is not present age is their key but there is no age key do we have any age key in dictionary no in this moment what will happen a new key value pair is added to the dictionary a new key value pair is added to the dictionary new key value pair is added to the dictionary if the key is present value gets update if the key is not present a new key value pair is added to the dictionary this you have to take care and how to delete or remove values yes we can delete or remove values also if you want to delete or uh, name simple del space d of particular key pair you can upset you can mention so del of del space d of name in the sense this total key value pair i want to remove so let's try to remove this name key value pair was deleted l is a keyword d is a dictionary of name is a key print d so this deleted clear got my point del space d of name print d is coming here next coming to this here if you want to delete entire the dictionary yes we can delete entire the dictionary del d means it is going to be delete entire the dictionary only so name d d is not defined name d d is what actually not defined 
okay because why it is this is error dictionary deleted here after deleting also you are trying to access again dictionary here that is not correct after deleting this also we are trying to access this dictionary so it is not correct i'm saying so d is not defined here so delete or remove values and copy is there copy means what generally to copy the elements from one value to another value so you can see d one equals to d this is shallow copy print d1 i'm taking so now this time what will happen you can see d1 equals to d means print d1 means same copy will maintain but in this situation if you do modified anything on d1 or d it will affect on other copies for example here d dot uh, uh, i'm taking d uh, of d of age equals to 45 what i'm trying to do i'm trying to do on d modification i'm adding age 45 d but d1 also will affect here you can see this is shallow copy i try to add age 45 on d only d of age but d1 also gets modified yes this is shallow copy if you want to use deep copy then copy method you can use if you use this copy method what will happen only on which dictionary you are doing changes d dictionary that changes only affect on d not d1 age 45 is affected on d only it's not changes on d1 got my point this is the case and here items keys values functions are there items means key and value pair one key one value is called one item keys means only keys values means values if you want to retrieve items from the dictionary you can use items function suppose print d dot items to get values only then d dot values to get keys only print d dot keys now you can see d dot items so what are the items are available now observe here this is original dictionary id 1234 name sai is there dictionary items id 1234 name sai dictionary values are there square bracket 1234 sai values only 1234 sai dictionary keys are there id and name only dictionary keys dictionary values dictionary items you can access by using built-in functions and coming to the membership test see membership test is only applicable for, on dictionary like uh, keys only not values generally membership test is easily we can do on list and set and so on but here in this context membership test we can apply only on keys dictionary keys only not values okay key is there or not we can check but values there or not we cannot check so just observe here membership test i'm taking so id in d id is a key sir in this case this key is there or not yes it is there yes true employee id it's not there so obviously false suppose here i'm taking one two three four one two three four is what actually in the dictionary value but can you check values there or not no the only membership test is applicable for dictionary on keys only not for values yes this value is there here yeah. but it is not value it is it is it is not key it is value but this here it is act as a key only always it will check this one two three four key is available or not it will check that's what it is called so normally membership test we can apply on list and string and also that is possible but the membership test we can only apply on dictionary keys only not for values got my point yes and length of dictionary it is also common how many values are present in dictionary we can check that is length of the dictionary print length of n length of d length of d print length of d so length of d means dictionary length is two only this is one item this is second item two items are there total length is and there are two important methods are there pop method pop item is there so what is this pop pop items so for example let's give age age is 34 so pop method is used to remove okay d dot pop of what key value pair if you want to remove you can supply the key name key value key only 
whatever you supply that, that key value pair will be removed from the dictionary. Now you can see name I mentioned, D dot pop of name. Pop method will expect a key. You can see when we open the bracket, it is expecting key only. Now you can see this is key only. You have to supply the key, which value, which key value pair is you, you want to delete. So I am providing pop of name, name key value pair I want to delete, then I can delete. But pop item is there. You can see pop item. And the speciality is which 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 key value pair is also deleted, it return. Okay, this return type you can see T1, T1. I am saying print D1. D1. After that, print D only. Print D. So pop method speciality is what actually which item is removed from dictionary also that will return. So this will return into this one only D1. I just I want to show you what it return type. So D dot pop of name means you are deleting psi value. That psi value also will be stored into separate variable like it return. It return this pop method will return deleted value also. After deleting, we are printing like this. Pop item is there. Pop item in the sense it will expect key and value pairs. Sorry, it will it will not accept any key, only nothing. You can see this pop item is not expecting anything. Okay, what it what it will do by default? This will remove arbitrary item from the dictionary. Arbitrary item in the sense, what is the last item placed in dictionary? By default, last item only every time. Age. That item also will be written which where which item is removing from dictionary. This item D1 is nothing but this one. This item is removed from dictionary after removing YD1234 names I like this one. Okay. This way you can read. This whole down line. So these are the wait, wait. I cannot add your number, not required number actually. I will send the uh, WhatsApp link to your mail and you can accept that automatically. You can able to join in that group. So I sent to you all uh, WhatsApp group link no. If not, uh, then I'll send resend again from to, from now after class. Okay, sir. I'll send once again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is pop item. Pop item can remove the. Uh, yeah, I'll send to you all of them. So I have your mail IDs. So you can check your mails. You can automatically click the link. I will invite a link through. Then you can able to join in our WhatsApp group. So your pop item is there. Pop item can remove arbitrary item. It means automatically last item what it is there that it will going to delete from the dictionary. So these are all dictionary functions what we have clearly. And in next session tomorrow we'll talk about uh, bytes, byte array, frozen set. I said in the previous examples, bytes, byte array, frozen set also data structures. But uh, it's not right situation to discuss. I said at the time of basics of data structure now this is the situation we'll discuss bytes byte array frozen set in tomorrow session after completion of this discussion we will move to functions in python programming but before that i said in the last session uh, that is one task i have given so what is the task if you did you can place your task code in chat box so that i'll explain or else i will write code here 
what i said here you can see l equals to list you can take let's wantedly you can take a duplicate values like this okay like this this is the duplicate values i want to filter this duplicate values means only original one yes exactly here i'll send to you all okay you can check your mails uh, is that correct mails or not so daily you are receiving the videos no so that mails i'll send to whatsapp group link this mails check it once all mails are correct then i'll send it i'll send to you link all mails once today after finishing the class within five minutes you can check so you can accept you can able to join that group also no problem so now yeah you someone is written code yes uh, sweta you write that is correct which i expect same code no need to give the number it's not required number only if you have if we if i have your mail id then that is okay i'll save the mail to now here you can see this is the list yes this is what same expecting what i'm going to write the code so you can take new list here okay result list result list is separately this is and for i in l means one in l one in l yes one is there in l it is there yes if i not in result means what this one value not in result then we can append what value result dot append of i value one will be added to the new list only next iteration if two in l if two not in result yes two is not there you can append third one one not in result yes it is already one is there don't append so like this it will be simply simply you can able to handle this is one thing okay another style also there i don't uh, 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 expect that style so this is only expected very good this is fine every time we are checking that i value is present in l or not if that i is not in present in result list then you can append it otherwise you can ignore this is simple if else condition for loop condition okay so another style is there same list example we can convert that into using set option for example here list i am converting l1 is a new list set conversion i am taking set 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 will do what it will simply ignore what all duplicate values or not set is unique values this is also simple 1 2 3 4 but actually this is set you can convert this set into list only again okay you can convert this set into list so how to convert this set l1 is a set only or else you can take s yes. s is a set only i want to convert this s into l1 list l1 equals to set a uh, list of list of list of list of s only print l1 now this time l list type only complete this is also simple but this i don't expect okay this is very easy i ask you this only so we got it so so next what i am giving today task is just observe here today task i am giving take two lists okay so two lists l1 1 2 3 like this l2 names you can take sai ram okay raj like this and by using these two list you can create dictionary how to create dictionary first the list one values consider as a keys list two values consider as a keys the result should be like dictionary only how it is output that is one colon sai okay two colon ram then three colon raj this result i want to get try to find from your side if not i'll tell you in tomorrow session take two list whereas first list is considered as a keys second list values are considered as a values and arrange them or mapping them using dictionary concept this is dictionary one sai two ram three raj mapping is there so this is today task here okay tomorrow we'll discuss clear that's all